When it comes to opening up a new bank account, you have two choices on where to do it, either at a bank or a credit union. But what's the difference? Well, it boils down to three simple O's, ownership, objective, and operation. Let's take a closer look. The first difference is ownership. Banks are owned by shareholders, whoever that might be. Credit unions, on the other hand, are owned by customers, or as they call them, members, and they're part of a cooperative. They may have a common theme together, like they may all be firefighters or live in a certain part of town. In fact, members have a say in the way that the credit union is being operated. If they don't like it, they can run for the board of directors to make a change. Try that with your bank. The second difference is objectives. Both banks and credit unions have the objective of serving the financial needs of their customers, but banks need to maximize profits for its shareholders, whereas credit unions are not for profit. After covering their expenses, they return their profit to their members in the form of lower loan interest rates, higher savings account interest rates, and lower or fewer service fees. The final difference is in operations, or the way they operate. Both banks and credit unions have ATMs, branches, deposit insurance, and are overseen by regulators. But that's where the similarities end. Banks oftentimes try to sell themselves as a convenient one-stop shop. They want to take care of your entire financial life in-house. On the other hand, credit unions try to compete on service. They're oftentimes smaller and locally controlled, so there's more opportunity to build a relationship. And that's important when it comes time for a loan. But don't confuse your smaller size with lack of convenient banking options. A lot of times, credit unions are part of a shared branch or ATM network, so you can bank at other credit unions across town or around the country. So when you boil it down, both banks and credit unions try to offer the same products and services, just in a little bit different way. So in two minutes, you just got smarter about the difference between a bank and a credit union. For more information and resources, visit our website at twominutefinance.com. I'm Bobby Lee with Two Minute Finance. Thanks for watching.